Oh, hey, welcome to the Sad Bastard Club. My name is Tom Heyman. We're coming at you from the makeout room deep in the heart of San Francisco's Mission District. The Sad Bastard Club is a singer-songwriter event that I hosted here for about nine years. And then COVID-19 came along and we've reimagined it as a web series. Our Sad Bastards for tonight are Kelly Stoltz and Nathan Wanta. Can't wait to hear what they have in store for us. So without further ado, let's get down to business, all right? Staring at the spaces where the pictures used to hang up on the wall Waiting for the silence as another empty night begins to fall well, You can jump down, turn around, what goes bump in the night Cross your fingers, knock on wood, but don't turn out the light This house is haunted this house is haunted This house is haunted The sun shines through the window I can feel the light explode behind my eyes The fading morning wipes away the night It's just a memory as it dies I've been adding up the hours, man, I'm counting up the days Get your money ready, you know everybody pays This house is haunted This house is haunted This house is haunted Still see that wine stained grin. A promise is a promise. Won't you tell me where you've been? When I turn on the radio, I like to keep it blasting in my ear. Got my AM oldest station playing all my favorite hits of yesteryear I got 
got the OJs and the Hollies and the Beach Boys and the Stones. Ain't seen a soul for days now, but I know I'm not alone. This house is haunted. This house is haunted. This house is haunted. This house is haunted.
If you said to your pal, man, I feel like giving up Tired of myself If you said to yourself how you feel like giving up I'm your own man Nathan, thanks so much for coming down here and doing this. Yeah, um, I'm flattered, you know, that you guys would invite me. Uh, what was the last show that you played before the lockdown, if you can recall? I was sometime around mid last year. Cause I, yeah, I haven't really been trying to play shows much at all uh, because my bandmate, um, is, we've been like kind of long distance. So sure. w whenever he's in town, I would definitely try to play but you yeah. know but yeah has, haven't been uh, too many too many opportunities what was the um what was the biggest thing you canceled uh it was uh the biggest bummer was a trip that i had planned with my dad to go to pittsburgh um in may to uh watch the pirates uh, giant series oh that would have been yeah i love going to love pittsburgh it was uh you know it's, it's, <laughs> was, it's, it's a beautiful town it's one of our great cities frankly. yeah yeah home of mr rogers yep um, have your listening slash media consumption habits changed at all since since we locked down? I mean, I would say the biggest thing probably with most people I would assume is that, you know, you're teaching yourself about all this like epidemiology that you've never even paid attention to in your life, right? <laughs> you know, like... Uh, you I, are, maybe. Or I would have been like... Uh, I had never uh, paid attention to uh, like vitamin B, uh, you know, deficiency or anything sure. like that. And I think like, man, you know, maybe if I would have made a point to get out of the house and get some sun, maybe I would have the flus that I've had in the past may not have been so horrible. You know what I mean? After yeah. learning about this, it's just like, uh, you know, it's important to get outside and actually get some get some sun. Have you recorded anything or do you have anything in the pipeline or ready to come out or anything like that? Yeah, I've been really trying since the lockdown. I've been trying almost more not to play music in a like a really. It's kind of silly, but just trying to like um, focus more like on focus more on just being a good dad. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, it, it after Justin invited me to do this, it made me think like, all right, maybe I've been taking this to a bit more too extreme because. It was just it's so fun. I love playing so much. Um, are you thinking about 2021 at all or booking any shows into the new year or anything like that? Well, I really hope so. I mean, especially my bandmate in uh, Walking in Sunlight, um, he moved to California recently. Uh, his name's Greg. I'm hoping that since now he's actually within six hours drive or whatever, <laughs> We can actually, uh, you know, we can, you know, rather than uh, Philadelphia or Buffalo, New York yeah, or sure. Chicago, where he was, yeah. uh, it's like, all right, maybe we can, maybe we can get to playing again. Well, thanks again, Nathan, for coming down and doing this. It was great to have you uh, here. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, Tom. Good, babe.
I've been working hard Every night Nothing comes easy When you try to put right Bad impressions My past transgressions Don't put me out to pasture With the old machines I see now they die It's ugly and slow And no one can find The remote control Ever run out of fashion Ever run out of time Out in the cold Out of your mind Well there's one thing you must know Letting go
breath you gave away Every little breath you take A man can lose his way Kel, great to have you here in the Makeout Room, a place where we've both spent m- probably more hours than um, we care to divulge. We've mopped uh, some floors. We've <laughs> emptied some garbage. We have indeed. So uh, what was the last show you played before the lockdown? Uh, the last show of my own was in L.A. Uh, we were on a tour with Ezra Furman, and the, show, uh, the last gig was in L.A. at Zebulon. And about two days later... Uh, Rusty Miller and I, my bandmate, we played with Robin Hitchcock as his kind of backing band at the chapel. chapel. Yeah, and that was, I think, March 6th or 7th, something like that. Or At that point, the the frenzy was not in full swing, but there were rumors and innuendo on the news and in the, you know, people knew something was up. I was really sick and don't know if I had it or not, um, but... You know, I, I the test that I got months, month or two later said I did not have antibodies, but boy, did I feel like death yeah. on that tour. Yeah. You know, I did see Jackson Brown at one of our shows in uh, Albuquerque, and then about a week later, he had coronavirus, <laughs> and I was like, great, I get, you know, I've, yeah, I've passed it along. I nearly killed Jackson a, a Brown, great yeah. songwriter, yeah, you know? Yeah. And uh, so. Yeah, the last show I played was with Robin at uh, the chapel, and you know it was a great, 
if I had to never play again, it was sort of a great way to go out. But I, just, um, I love I, that picture of you stand, you know, playing a sitar, standing up, strapped around your neck like a Les Paul. Yeah, it's, that, like, it's one of the greatest things. It was ever. something I'd always <laughs> wanted to do. I'd always wanted to have just a yeah. a, a, a sitar strapped on. Like uh, I think there's a KLF video where they're. They're, the two of them have sitars. Yeah, and they're just playing them like that. That's awesome. So, thank you. Uh, what was the biggest thing or the most disappointing thing that got canceled as a result of? of- uh, cancellations. The I had a tour in Europe and England planned, uh, I guess, July of last year, June, July, yeah. August, something like that. Maybe a month-long tour. And, you know, I remember those innocent days thinking, oh, by July, it'll be fine. I'll be back on a plane, What's you know? The problem? All the dates were just shifted to July 2021 but but as we go closer and closer now I mean if I have an honest discussion with myself I think that's not going to happen so you know how have your um, listening slash media consumption habits changed since the lockdown or have they uh you know I did I always bought a lot of records but stores were closed so I was ordering things on discogs on ebay buying a few more records um I sold I sold a massive pair of speakers and man, I got these smaller, nice sounding speakers. And so that sort of um, made me want to buy more records to enjoy these speakers. <laughs> that and the depression, you know? Right, so, yeah. you know, of course, television has been in my life much more than ever. Yes. And as this is drug on, you know, what what once was eight o'clock is now six o'clock is now eh, maybe, you know. It just never turns yeah, off. There's Shark Tank's on at five. <laughs> let's let's see that, you know. And then it's, who's Judge Jerry? I know <laughs> Judge Judy. I've never seen this judge. I was going to say, have you recorded anything, which is a moot question with you because you're never basically not The question recording. is moot. The question is moot, sir. Uh, but um, what's coming out? What's in the What's in the pipeline? What's come out recently, and what's coming out? In July, I released a record uh, called Hard Feelings, and this was sort of more of a pub rock, Nick Lowe, Stiff Records, Jonah Louie. I'm with you there. Uh, I'm with you on that. Undertones, maybe 80s Iggy kind of thing. I was at the post office when you made your first big mailing of that. I saw this big stack of records, and I... Is that in the post office guy? And he goes, yeah, there's a guy down the street. I think yeah, he has right. a record label. Yeah, there. it was probably yeah. Martin. Yeah. Martin is my buddy there. And Martin is a, is a funny guy because he plays drums and he loves the Scorpions. He's cool, yeah. Martin. Yeah, Martin at the post office. Yeah. We love Martin. This is the newest album that came out just yesterday. Ah, etc. That is the new album. And um, this is on Agitated Records. It's my friend Simon Keeler who runs uh, Forte Distribution in England, a big distro company. So he's done a great job, and it's um, uh, yeah, it's a cool record. Karina Denike from uh, local incredible you know jazz guy. singer, R and B singer. Uh, she sings on it. Uh, Allison Baker plays on it. Uh, Rusty Miller plays on it, and Will Sargent from the Bu- Echo and the Bunnymen plays on it. A uh, couple of songs, so it's got Fantastic. a few few people popping in on it, and um, and then I have another one that I finished in those <laughs> in the her, he, heady creative early days yeah. of this pandemic that will come out next year. But okay, um, that's good. So you know, lots not of here stuff. yet. Lots of stuff. There's always, always stuff, but the gas, the tank is empty right now, yes. Tom. I got right. no, I got nothing left. I understand, Kelly. Thanks so much for coming down and doing this, and you also, Allison. Yeah, um, Allison Baker on uh, Allison all Baker sorts of guitars the, and the, just general inspiration. The bass six and the Stratocaster, um, fantastic! It was I felt like it was just a really great way to spend an afternoon with you guys. So we, yeah, we enjoyed it. There we go. All right. Well, that's the Sad Bastard Club for tonight, folks. I'd like to thank my guests uh, Kelly Stoltz and Nathan Wanta. I want to thank Allison Baker for the power assist on guitar. And I want to thank Bill Shoup for the additional camera work. I'd also like to thank Justin Fromm for taking this whole thing and making it into something we can watch and listen to. But mostly, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys next time. 